Well, hi all my friends. Yes, I'm still alive. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> I've been having really bad breathing uh, problems. Wheezing, that sort of thing. Kind of boring, dull. Um, <clears throat> and first time I've ever had to use an inhaler. So, um, I've been wondering why I've been having breathing problems. But um, anyway, so waiting on another one right now and so that's what's going on health wise I'm still um, recovering but I feel I'm feeling better kind of um, I'm hoping by next week I'll be okay so I can get going on the reading and not um, <clears throat> having to cough or do other things um, so anyway, I wanted to do a short little video and say thank you for your prayers. I know that some of you are praying for me, so I really appreciate the prayer and, um, and the contact. And um, uh, so, yeah, I, you know, um, can I tell you? <laughs> here I am. So um, still here, still semi-vertical. <laughs> um, I wanted to share with you that I got a letter from Howard Storm, another one, and um, he has finished writing his book. He has a, um author in Australia who is looking for a publisher for him or getting a publisher. So keep him in prayer and that the book will come out and so that would be great because I personally I can't wait to read it um, and I've seen a lot of his videos but I'm sure there'll be things in the book that he probably didn't go into or maybe not as in length or in depth or um, but anyway I'm, I'm looking forward to, to hearing about his experience I think out of um, most of the near-death experiences, I think his is the most um, impactful, um, believable, heartfelt, um, ex you know, experiences that you, a person can have. I mean, the per he was an atheist and just totally didn't care about God or anything, didn't you know, so his story is just really, for me, um, that says a lot. So I'm I'm looking forward to that, and um, I don't know if I shared this with you, but he's also very much in support of my continuing my ministry on YouTube with the LGBT community. And as you know, a lot of the monetization, even Tony from God Rules and Sons of Thunder and his other videos that he has, um, he has to, he's now with Patron. And, um, uh, you know, so you get, with Patron, he'll get paid. You, you pay a dollar or something, or you pledge whatever you, you know, that you want to pay. <clears throat> Sorry for moving this around a lot. Um, and you pledge that and then, you know, or, you know, maybe just do it for a month and, and then you don't have to, then you can opt out if you want to. Um, but that will keep them able to give really good, uh, videos and stay at home and do that as, as their job. And me, I, I have a job. I'm, um, you know, I, I do interpreting and, um. American Sign Language and have all of my life. That's that's been my my bread and butter uh, work, and I've done it in different fields throughout, um, you know, from theater to prisons. You know, um, I've I've been in different you know situations um, with the mentally ill, with um, group homes, even um, rehab. Uh, and, you know, it, it's been a really, uh, a blessing to do that. So, um, and I think it's a gift and I don't want to not use it as long as I can use it, I'll use it. Um, because I believe that's, that's something that God gave me. 
and uh, so I want to share it and use it and you know and and glorify his name because of that and so I don't I don't take it lightly um, yeah so anyway um, I just wanted to share that with you I am um, recouping and I'm still here um, yes yeah, so that's that's about it. So just the short little video today. Um, I can't see very well without my glasses. What time, what time am I? Okay, good. Um, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to get back to the Bible and back to the reading. I'm missing it. And so I'm sure you guys are too. Um, so I'm hoping you're all well. And leave me a comment, note, let me know how you're doing. Um, I, I tried to play the guitar for a little bit each day some of the songs I just recently did and I've been posting links under my last video um, things that I thought were important and you know right now with Syria and President Trump um, and Damascus and also with North Korea um, in that whole situation uh, we definitely are in the days of chaos. We definitely are, could be coming up against Psalms 83, Ezekiel, you know, prophecy. I'm not sure, you know, I hate to say, but I'm just like, you know, I'm watching daily. I'm getting messages from people from South Korea saying that they're afraid and scared. So keep, keep the Christian brothers and sisters in prayer. Um, uh, these these people are saying that they're afraid. I don't think they have Christ in them. Um, but regardless, it's still scary, you know. I mean, it's not like, you know, this is everyday occurrence, okay? So, um, yeah. And we have many Christian brothers and sisters in the Middle East who have just been persecuted um, unbelievably and, and who have lost many, 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 many family members um, so please keep them in prayer and also the LGBT community there, you know, men, I don't know about women, but men especially have been thrown headfirst over buildings, uh, blindfolded, tied up and just tossed over. And, um, I've seen that repeatedly, um, and beheaded and so forth. And so it's just a uh, horrific, um, uh, un unimaginable horror going on. Um, and just not very funny at all. Um, and I know that God is, is not pleased with what's going on, what's happening. I also found a, a kind of church that I've been sort of listening to called um, One Way, One, One Open Door Church, Long Beach. I think that's the right name. Um, uh, affir affirming church and really um, really cool uh, minister I was listening to DC I think his name is um, don't quote me I'll, I'll get it right for you I'll, I'll put it in the link um, but anyway uh, I liked he he grew up fundamental just like I did a fundamental Baptist uh, is what I grew up as I'm sure that his was similar um, and what he did was he tossed out everything but kept the one true thing that he knew was true is, is that the only way to heaven is through Christ. And so his love for Christ is what he kept, and that he was going to follow Christ. And I I wholeheartedly agree with that. And 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 I see things that way as well. That <clears throat> um to follow Christ and what you know, what would Christ do? And that's what I'm always thinking of in my mind if, when things you know come my way and sometimes I mess up and I don't and um and that gets me in trouble <laughs> but um um yeah um I think that if we follow in Christ's footstep because he always said especially I, you know I love the book of John you know come and see you know, he, he he's, come and see what I'm all about. When the two disciples left John the Baptist, he's they said, you know, where where are you you lodging? He, they asked him, and he said, come and see. You know, 
So I, 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 I like that, that he engaged them and he, and he took them on. And, um, you know, like a good teacher would, like good Rabboni. Um, and so um, I, liked, I liked this church and what they had to say and what they talked about and how they're unpacking things. And uh, it just makes a little bit more sense to me. Um, so anyway, just wanted to share that with you. And I, again, hope you're all doing well. I think about you and um, I'm, I'm sorry that this, this hit out of the blue really did really quickly and fast. And I was just like, what's going on? <laughs> you know? <coughs> so sorry. Um, but that's what's, uh, what, the, what I've been dealing with. And, um, so I'm trying to get it cleared up. Anyway, I'm going to cut it short. All right. Talk to you later. Love you guys. Bye.